Thank you, Pastor Greg, and thank you for the opportunity to participate in chapel this morning. When we were planning the program for chapel, you reminded me to be brief and timely. And I forgot to tell you that I'm a Baptist. And for us Baptists, being brief and timely at a minimum means an hour and a half, plus the offertory. Good morning. For those of you who may not know me, my name is Leroy Davis. I'm in the, uh, an assistant professor of education here at TLU. In addition, I'm also the director of student teaching and the field experience. I would like to introduce my accompanist this morning. You've already heard her uh, sing. Her name is Dr. Beulah Agnes Jones, and she's a professor emeritus of, of music for Houston Tillerson University in Austin. And she's also the assistant director <laughs> And she's also the Assistant Director of Music at the historic Ebenezer Baptist Church in Austin. So we're very fortunate that for, that for her to share her experiences with us this morning. I'm very excited about participating in chapel this morning. Our meditation for the morning is entitled, Crossing Over into Campground. This phrase is taken from the renowned spiritual Deep River. February is traditionally the month set aside to honor the contributions and legacies of African Americans in this country. This year, the national theme is African Americans and the Civil War. However, I'm taking a, the liberty to explore this topic from a different perspective. Many of you know, and many of you may not know, that I'm very passionate about music, all genres of music. For me, music provides that time for me to reflect, to identify, to recognize my emotions and feelings and hopes and aspirations through the syncopations and rhythms and meters and measures and chords and lyrics, all of which satisfy my spiritual and emotional yearnings. Plato said it best when he declared, music is a moral law. It gives soul to the universe wings to the mind, flight to the imagination, a charm of sadness, gaiety, and life to everything. It is the essence of order and lends itself to all that is good and just and beautiful. One particular genre of music that lends to all that is good and just and beautiful is the spiritual. Spirituals are not the same as gospel music. In fact, you will get a chance to hear wonderful gospel music next week when TLU's Sabak will be a part of the worship experience in chapel. Randy Jones, a renowned soprano and researcher, defines spirituals as songs created by Africans who were captured and brought to the United States to be sold into slavery. From their humble beginnings, spirituals were labeled Negro spirituals. In recent years, the correct vernacular has become the African-American spiritual. Regardless of the prevailing title attributed to spirituals, there has always been a misconception about the purpose of spirituals. Who should sing them? Who should appreciate them? And why are spirituals still referenced as a part of the legacy of African-Americans? These questions can be answered by exploring the history of African Americans in this country. Prior to the Civil War, the first Africans who came into this country were slaves, now referenced by Asata Shakur and many other modern day historians as the new, Neg the new Africans. Her research found that even though the new Africans were separated from their homeland geographically, linguistically, and religiously, they were still inherently connected traditionally, culturally, and spiritually to each other. They were no longer able to speak Wardaf or Yoruba or any of the other languages reflected of their native land. However, they still performed and practiced a lot of the African traditions and rituals in this particular country, but they can only perform them in English. Shakur also believes it was during these times that the new African and their descendants adopted Christianity, the religion of their owners. The new Africans often heard their owners tell stories about how the Jews were enslaved by the Egyptians and delivered to freedom. 
These miraculous evidence of God's almighty power was appealing to the new Africans and gave them hope for their own futures. The hope was reflected in the new Africans' need to express themselves through the spirituals. They wanted to express a new faith in God, that God would deliver them from slavery in the same way that the biblical God had delivered the faithful Jews. Spirituals reflect two traditions found in African-American music. The call and response, very similar to what we did this morning with Wade in the Water, where Dr. Jones did the call and you as the audience did the response. And the other, other stylistic element is that of improvisation, where the singer has all the opportunities to, to do things that are not necessarily printed on the page, but just to take it and to make it his own or, or her own. Spirituals were primarily used as a means of communicating about the hardships of being enslaved, being separated from family, and being sold as property. Since spirituals were Christian songs, most of them were concerned with what the Bible says and how to live with the Spirit of God. The dark days of bondage were enlightened by the hope and faith that God would lead the new Africans, would not leave them alone. The lyrics of the spirituals were tightly linked with the lives of the new Africans and were inspired by the message of Jesus Christ and the good news of the gospel, you can be saved. Please understand that one cannot assume that spirituals were strictly religious songs with direct references to biblical scriptures. Harriet Tugman, also known as Moses among the new Africans for leading hundreds of new Africans to freedom via the Underground Railroad, often sang spirituals to alert the new Africans of her arrival and of her intended departure via the Underground Railroad, a vast network of people who helped the new Africans escape to the North and to Canada as free men, women, and children. Spirituals had messages encoded within them that were often essential to the survival for both the Africans, new Africans who sang them and for the new Africans who listened to them. The messages included plans to escape, escape routes, the location of safe houses along the, the Underground Railroad, and news about the latest new Africans who were murdered at the various plantations. Such messages were encoded in spirituals such as this little light of mine, steal away, and wade in the water, the spiritual that we sang earlier. In the spiritual deep river, crossing over into campground was the hidden message symbolizing crossing the Ohio River to freedom. As an American, I am proud to know that spirituals were important in helping to shape the cultures and traditions of this great nation. As an African-American, I am very proud of this portion of the legacy that my forefathers, who were the new Africans, paved through these spirituals. Their blood, sweat, and tears have served as a sense of strength to me as a man, a husband, as a father, as an educator, and as a Christian. I experience joy and happiness when I sing or listen to spirituals. Dr. Beulah, Beulah Jones has found through her many years as a music scholar, educator, performer, and researcher that the spiritual is the true American form of folk music. Randy Jones has found that the spiritual gave birth to other music styles, including the blues, jazz, gospel, and even rap music. Her research has also supports that today's hip-hop artists have, in many respects, returned to their West African and early African-American roots. Likewise, Robin Sylvan has concluded that rap music has its own distinctiveness because of the continuities with West Africa and African-American spiritual principles, and the rap itself is a prominent resemblance of an oral mode of expression often found in spirituals. Today, spirituals are, and even, and even secular African-American folk melodies and their harmonic styles are regarded as one of the purest and most valuable music folklore in America. Spirituals are not sentimental 
or theatrical, but epic in nature and full of simple dignity. The spiritual is America. As a tribute to the African-American spirituals and the African-American slaves who performed them, I would like to perform for you Deep River. Deep River, my home is all the Jordan. Deep river, Lord, I want to cross over into campground. Oh, don't you want to go to that gospel? That gospel feast Where all is peace is all the Jordan deep river Lord I want to cross over into campground I want to cross over into Camp Thank you very much. <laughs>